Marysville will be looking for a new mayor. Its current leader, Dennis Kendall, announced yesterday that he will step down in August. He's been in office for six years. He says he wants to start enjoying his retirement. City Councilman John Naring will fill the remainder of Kendall's terms through the end of next year. I'm Rochelle Murcia. The Barefoot Bandit is in a federal court in Miami right now as we start to see more of this whole legal picture unfold. We're also hearing some of the fascinating comments Colton has made in the past few days, including his thoughts on capturing Osama bin Laden. It's also bizarre, but Mark Miller is all over this story. Well, they say blondes have more fun. Maybe it's because they have more money to have fun with. Well speak for themselves. According to a new survey, <laughs> blonde women on average earn slightly more money than other women. So you think you're smart? Well, that really depends on what smart means. For many people, smartness is measured by the IQ, and that's something kids as young as two years old are learning. Congressional Democrats are inching closer this morning to passing a major rewrite of financial industry regulations. House and Senate negotiators hope for a vote in the House today. The Senate vote is unlikely until after the fourth recess. The death of Democratic Senator Robert Byrd this week and fresh objections from Republican Senators Scott Brown, Susan Collins, and Olympia Snow are threatening to derail the bill once it gets to the Senate. To ease their concerns, Democrats have removed a $19 billion fee on large banks and hedge funds. I know when we bought our house, we were on the internet looking at all the pictures, yeah, you know, yeah. because that's yeah. a good way to get the tour. Yep. But those pictures say a lot. You know, you they need do. to kind of watch what your real estate agent is taking pictures Absolutely. of. Absolutely. Don't forget the maximum picture is worth a thousand words. And you say once your house is on the market, get feedback and then make tweaks. First of all, how do you go about getting feedback? Do you leave a little suggestion card <laughs> out on the table? Sure. How do you do no, that? What you do is, once again, you rely on your real estate agent. So if you have to lower your price, the <laughs> dreaded, dreaded thing. I know. Something right. happens. Yes. Do you do it little increments at a time? or do you just go all out? Ever wondered what it'd be like to be incredibly wealthy? Every moment of my life. Every time I buy a lottery ticket? <laughs> well, there's now a complete guide that can help you understand and negotiate the world of billionaires, heiresses, and tycoons. Well, you mess with the bulls, sometimes you'll get the horns. At least that was the story for nine runners in Pamplona today. For the first time, we're hearing the chilling police audio of what happened when a Pierce County deputy shot his in-laws in front of his children. All right, we begin with some breaking news. Once again, news we've been following all morning. Five homes on fire near the Woodenville area. Air 4 over the scene right now. Good news. Looks like firefighters are making progress, but fire chief there says these are all arson, possibly set by the Earth Liberation Front, better known as ELF. So definitely take another route if you can. Also, as you can see from our picture, the weather is lousy. We don't know if weather was a factor in this accident, but man, it is bad up here. That means it's got to be bad down there. So that is the the very latest here from Air 4, a mess on I-5 northbound. Right now there are three of these first of the kind tables right here in the downtown Sheraton lobby. You can see right now it just looks like a piece of artwork, but the water ripples with every move of my finger. Now, that's not all it can do. You come in here, say you're a tourist, you want to take a look at our city. Well, it takes you into a map. She is live right now in the newsroom. How are those feet feeling? Oh, well, they feel good. In fact, this is really popular. Last, uh, about last month ago, it was featured on The View. You can see they're doing a live demonstration of it right there. People like it, but the question everyone's asking me is, what does it feel like? The best way I can describe it is it feels like my foot's asleep, only it doesn't hurt. And when it first starts, if you're ticklish, like I am, well, you'll see. <laughs> This is just a small oh part God. of my experience at the Peridot it's Nail Salon so in Kent. I don't oh want to give God. it all away yet until I introduce you to what can make my mouth open so big. Here they are, Chin Chin or Dr. Fish. I call them the fish that ate my feet. They're toothless, so it doesn't hurt. So what they do, is they have this sucking, the way that their mouth is designed, they just basically just suck off of your skin. Tweety says the hungry little guys know where to go, digging in on dead skin and calluses. The treatment's been around since the 1800s. This one is the first in Washington. And the appointment book is filling up fast. So for one fish pedicure at one o'clock tomorrow. Can you leave your feet in there for too long? Can you um, go down to bloody stubs or? Uh, well, no, they, they, they know, they just eat off of what, just the dead skin and the calluses. They don't go into your skin. So after some convincing and a quick scrub to remove any lotions that could harm the feet-eating fish, I go in. <gasps> oh. <laughs> it tickles so much. <laughs> that tickles so much. They are hungry. And I have lots of food, apparently. <laughs>
They munch on my feet for 15 minutes. So if I wasn't so afraid of YouTube right now, I think I'd be freaking out a little bit. <laughs> but I make it through. Oh, that one doesn't want to let go. And I show off my freshly nibbled toes. And after all of the screaming and laughter, I'm left speechless. So what do you think? <laughs> and here are my freshly nibbled on toes right here. It actually does work and they can nibble on about 10 set of feet a day. It costs around $30 for those 15 minutes. And those little fish you saw, about five months from now, they're going to be seven inches long. And when that's the case, the owner of the salon will send them back to the vendor and she'll get smaller fish. So that's how it works. If you're interested, reporting live, I'm Rochelle Mercia. Back to you.